pioneer monument in San Francisco, Civic Center, our goddess, Minerva, or Athena, holding her shield, and on the shield, the face of the Medusa, goddess of California, goddess of wisdom. And by her side, on the left side, a bear, the California Republic, established in 1846 on June 14th. Monument was donated by James Lick to San Francisco. Here you see the Pioneers plaque, Pioneers coming across to the west. And here you see the monument, which went up in San Francisco in 1894. Donated by James Lick, was a 49er, came here in 18. 47. Made a lot of money, became the richest man in California for a few decades. He died in 18. Fremont was bringing illegal immigrants into the Mexican territories in 1846. I call him the American Coyote. The marshal discovered gold, Coloma, Sutter's Rancho, Slope first naval uh, commander of the Western Fleet in the Pacific during the Mexican-American War in 1846 and took over Monterrey. The monument, you see the plaque up there with the fur traders coming out west trading with the Indians. And then you see 1850 when California became 31st state of the Union. It became a state without being a territory. Here you see the goddess of commerce, Anona, paddling her boat. Looking west at our beautiful city hall, the goddess Anona, the pioneer monument. when we became a state on September 9th and here you see Drake was a pirate robbing the Spanish galleons coming from Manila to Mexico and it's in the 1570s the ship was shipwrecked north of here and he repaired it and declared this land New Albion for Queen Elizabeth of England of course this was all part of Alta California with the Spaniards Larkin who was a spy for the American government and lived in Monterrey. Became a Mexican citizen, had a lot of land in Monterrey. Cabrillo, who was an explorer that sailed up and down the coast of California and never found the Great Bay of San Francisco. The back of the monument, you see fruit and garlands in the rear end of the bear. And you see a plaque with the Californios. There was a lot of cattle in California during the mission period and in the Mexican period. The two flags you see here are the flag of the United States and the flag of Mexico commemorating the Mexican-American War. We took all this land away from Mexico and made it part of our country. And here you see the year the monument was erected and erected 1894 in San Francisco. You see the Padres, the Californios, and the Indians. The King of Spain, Charles III, wanted to convert the Indians to Christianity to make them citizens of New Spain and then give them the land back. That was the plan. Unfortunately, other things happened, and that didn't come to pass. So the early days, the Spanish period, that lasted for about 60 years. And then came about the Mexican period, that lasted for about 20 years. And then the Mexican-American War. Father Nipo Serra, who founded nine of the 21 California missions, was co-founder of Mission San Francisco de Asís. He's also known as the Apostle of California, Portola, who was the first governor of Alta California back in 1769, 
and established the Presidio in San Diego, along with Father Sarah, who established the first mission of Alta California in San Diego. Stockton who was the first military governor during the Mexican-American War in 1846, military governor of California. The flag shows the abundance of California, the agriculture on the left, and on the right, the train coming across the continent, the, in the extension of the Transcontinental Railroad in 1869, and Thanksgiving. The date, 1848, the end of the Mexican-American War, who invaded Mexico City with General Scott and forced the Mexicans to sign the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. It gave us all this land and made it part of our country as it is today, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, and we fulfilled our dream of manifest destiny. The president in Washington was Pope. The Roman goddess of, of abundance, Abundancia, Cornucopia in her hand. Right behind Castro was a military governor of Alta California and fought against the Americans in 1846. Did not want to become part of the United States. And we fought down in Monterrey and in San Jose in areas in the northern part of the state. Sutter was a Mexican citizen, came to California in the 1830s at a big rancho up in the Sacramento area and gold was found in Coloma, the rancho at Sutter's Mill by Marshall. A goddess and the grizzly bear, pioneer monument. And here you see Vallejo, who was the captain of the Presidio San Francisco and the Presidio up in Sonoma. He was taken captured by Freeman and his men, and locked up at Monterey at Sutter's, at, at, locked up in Sac Sacramento at uh, Sutter's Fort. His land was taken away from him, and the Bear Flag Republic was born in Sonoma on June 14, 1846. So Vallejo. Pioneers coming west to California right at the top, our goddess. And James Lick, the donor of this monument. We also established Lick's Observatory in Mount Hamilton in San Jose. And his estate was down in that area. And this is dedicated to the City of San Francisco by James Lake, an early pioneer. And the 49ers came out west in 1849. Gold was found a year before, 1848. And by 49, the little village of Yerbabuena grew a big cosmopolitan city. And San Francisco became the richest city in the world for about 10 years. And then silver came down to San Francisco from Nevada, from the Comstock. So in 49, the gold rush in San Francisco. A beautiful monument in the style of grand monuments of Europe in the 1870s, 80s, and 90s. And our goddess, Minerva, or Athena, goddess of wisdom, goddess of war.